what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The lighting in here is real bad, so in fact, it's horrible. So this won't be my most high quality video, but it will be my most historical video because the Houston Astros won the World Series for the first time in franchise history, y'all. Y'all don't understand how big this is for Houstonians. Man, ooh, man. Just, I'm still in LA, man. I just came from downstairs. Man, the lobby is a fiesta. People, I'm, I'm staying in the same hotel as the group, as the team staying, staying in. And people are still in a festive mood. It's going down. It's a great day in LA. That's all I got to say. What was, oh, here's the, Here's the, the newspaper, right? So, here's the cover of the USA Today. And it talks about the, the killing that happened where the guy plowed his car into a group of people in New York City. Now, I don't want to minimize this, you know, but here's the thing. Uh, tragedy in America, people running over people, shooting people, uh, stabbing, whatever. Man, that go on every day in America. That word, and, and I'm going to tell you something, but God bless, you know what I'm saying? You know, God bless the dead. But let's be real, man. The World Series ain't something that happens every day. So y'all know when it comes to great events, I mean, unless it was some type of attack on the new World Trade Center or something, a federal building blew up or something. Come on, y'all know Astro's supposed to be on the front page of the USA Today. So for that, I say to USA Today, man, y'all kiss my black ass. This is where they have the Astros at, y'all. They got the Astros back here on the sports, in the sports section, all hidden and shit. Something tells, look at it, something tells me if this had been L.A., if L.A. had won, they would be on the cover of USA Today. I mean, that's just a wild guess. But, I mean, you know, that's how it is, though. You know, L.A. and New York are media markets. A lot of media outlets have headquarters and locations in L.A. and New York. So, it's going to always be some bias towards LA and New York teams. But I'm still not giving them a pass for putting my Astros on in the sports section. Again, kiss my ass, USA Today. We won. When y'all was hating, all the media was hating on us, man. Everybody except Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated correctly predicted that the Astros would win the 2017 World Series in 2014. They made a prediction. They said, based on the analytical data that they, they did, that they had compiled, and also uh, doing some good old fashioned um, research with scouts, uh, scouts who, who can't, who can read between the lines and who have who can go beyond just data and look at a, a player's personality, look at his hustle, the things that stats don't really show at times. Um, they predicted that the Astros would win the 2017 World Series. So, man, I'm just elated, man. I'm talking about this is a great day. This is a great day in L.A., man. I can't wait to get back to Houston. I got a couple more days out here and because I'm still celebrating my birthday. But I'm going to tell you, man, this is a great day. Winning the championship for the first time. I used to, I used to uh, 
I remember selling the Houston Chronicle. I used to be a subscription seller for the Houston Chronicle newspaper. And the Astros were in the playoffs and just getting the, the brakes beat off of them. And I'm like, damn, man. So that was just one disappointment. But even in the 05 World Series, we got swept. I mean, just no fight whatsoever. And I'm like, damn, man. And I started feeling like it wasn't going to ever happen. But it happened, man. It happened. Lord have mercy. They did it. I'm proud of y'all boys, man. Normally, I wouldn't make a video about a team winning a championship. You know, sports teams win all the time. It has to be a story behind it. But So this is a story. It's a historic story. And it's my hometown. H-Town, baby. And we proud. So I wanted to make sure I made a video about this so we could put it in the archives and we can look back on this moment because it took us 63 years to win this damn thing and ain't no telling uh, how long it'll take to win the second one. But we got a good batch of youngsters and so we got a lot of upside. Chances are we'll be right back in the World Series in the next year or two. Uh, Got to get a little strong on our pitching. But we're going to be good. I think we'll be good. Those boys went out there and showed up and showed out. L.A. Dodgers wasn't no punks, though. Wasn't no easy ride. That whole series was undecided until that last out. That's how competitive it was. So, by no means am I, you know, just bragging and, and acting like, you know, you know, it was a, a slam dunk. Been walking around the streets of L.A. this morning. And, uh, well, not walking around the streets of L.A., but just, you know, block two or whatever, just seeing people's, uh, checking people's temperature, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they sad, man. I'm glad it's them, not us, man. We went through enough, man, shit. And then, you know, for, for my city to still be suffering in the wake of uh, Hurricane Harvey, a lot of people are still depressed. Uh, you know, some people lost everything. So this is good for the city. This is, this is kind of like when, um, you know, what happened with uh, Katrina and, you know, New Orleans... <coughs> This damn thing, how the hell they put this damn thing on here? They act like they don't want me to damn get get the damn thing open. Tear here. Okay, hold on. Uh oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so reading is fundamental. Yeah. Damn, I forgot about the point I was about to make. But yeah, okay, so Harvey, Hurricane Harvey, in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, people lost everything. So, you know, this is this is a good morale boost for the city. We need something like we needed this. You know, don't mean we stop working. You know, we stop getting taking care of business. But for right now, this is a good look. You know, considering everything we've been through in the last few months, it's a good look. I was uh, I was kind of like looking online trying to see what some man. I wish like hell I had had the insight that Sports Illustrated had. Man, and people guess that man. How the hell? And this is when the Astros was the laughing stock of of the league. They correctly guessed that the Astros, out of all teams, would win the 2017 World Series, a team that had never won the World Series in their history. That's it. Man, that's the damn prediction of all predictions. That was damn near. That's got to be better than uh, having a black president in the United States of America. That prediction, you know, like 
I would have never thought that I would see a black president in the United States. I, I thought that America would get that one day. I ain't think I, I, I doubt it seriously that it would happen in my lifetime. But damn, man, we got a black president and the Astros World Series. Shit. Life shaping up to be okay for me, man. Too much damn ketchup on my fries. I don't like that. I don't like that. I normally don't eat fries. But today, I'm going to do a lot of things I don't normally do. Continuing in the celebration. Waiting on my goddaughter to come through here and pick me up. I'm finna go kick it with Corey Holcomb. Get on the set of Black Jesus. It all makes sense now. They won the World Series on my birthday. Hell of a gift. I'm going to see, I'm going to the set of Black Jesus. Yeah. Uh, when was that an omen? But man, I really do appreciate everybody that help, that rooted for the team. Because that means something, man. That means something when people believe in you. And I know we had a lot of bandwagoners. I was one of them. I've seen Astros lose so many damn times, man. I deserve to be a bandwagon. I deserve to get off the damn bandwagon for a minute. And then, I mean, I deserve to get off the damn wagon and then get back on. Because I've been spending a lot of money and investing a lot of energy in the Astros for years and years and years. So, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't, I didn't, get, I didn't get on the ride until I saw it was real. So, and it was real, man. They did that. So thank you to all the players, coaches, the families, especially the wives for being understanding. So that these men could go out there and do what they had to do and make history. I know that these players spent a lot of time away from home. Man, it's a beautiful thing when you got that support and you ain't got nobody nagging you and putting that pressure on you and asking you, why you not at home? <laughs> so I'm going to get on and finish my, my food, man, but I want to say salute Astros. And I want to end on a positive note. I want to say again, fuck USA Today for putting the Astros in the sports section when they should have been on the front page. But I said I was going to end on a, front, on a positive note. So here's the positive note. Astros win. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Thanks.